When a new or repaired water main is put into service, utility operators need to reduce the introduction of bacterial and chemical contaminants and to treat the contaminated water with appropriate disinfection. Prior to installing new water mains, the pipe, sleeves, clamps, and other components should be swabbed with a concentrated solution of hypochlorite to disinfect the interior surface. Even new water meters have been found to be a source of bacteria, so disinfect them as well. Use two ounces of dry calcium hypochlorite to every gallon of water mixed in a small bucket. As a safety note, use rubber gloves when working with hypochlorite, as it will irritate skin and bleach clothing. Use cleaning rags dipped in the solution to swab the interior of all pieces of pipe and components that are being installed. An alternative to swabbing is to use a pressurized sprayer to apply the hypochlorite solution. Avoid any unnecessary handling of the components and be sure to keep them out of the dirt and water as they are cleaned. Hand tools and any other pieces of equipment that come into contact with the pipe should also be disinfected frequently. Swabbing with a hypochlorite solution is effective in cases of new pipe installation in a clean environment. However, in many instances, main lines will need to be disinfected more thoroughly. The AWWA standard for disinfecting water mains specifies tablets, continuous feed, and slug feed disinfection. Calcium hypochlorite tablets are often used for smaller water mains or new pipes that have been kept relatively clean. The tablets are affixed to the top of each section of pipe, the distance apart based on pipe size. The goal is to achieve a concentration of 25 milligrams per liter of free chlorine for a holding time of 24 hours. The second method is continuous feed. The main is flushed with a strong calcium hypochlorite solution of up to 100 milligrams per liter. That's followed by filling the main with water with at least 25 milligrams per liter of free chlorine. A final residual of at least 10 milligrams per liter of free chlorine should be present after 24 hours. The third method is a slug dose, which calls for 100 milligrams per liter of free chlorine to be in contact with the pipe for at least three hours. If the main can't be kept out of service that long, a more concentrated solution, such as 300 milligrams per liter, can be used for a shorter time period. A final residual of no less than 50 milligrams per liter should be achieved.